Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama, uh, shooting you a walk around video on this 2011 uh, Pierce rescue engine uh, for you guys at Goodwill Hose, Pennsylvania. Appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, try to work with you guys on this truck. Um, I've measured it myself just now and did a quick walk around. I'll try to show you the little things that I saw on it uh, in the video, and I hope this is helpful to you. Here we go. Uh, normal wear and tear for a truck that's got a few years on it. Some of the hose bed covers are just a little dirty. Probably used to be wiped off. SCBA seat for the officer seat, of course. Two rear facing and two forward facing SCBA seats in the rear. Seating for six total. Five SCBAs. Uh, two uh, EMS cabinets in the corners. Uh, show you the tires. Uh, real, real good deep tread on the tires. That's going to be the same on the front and the rear. Uh, again, just a little bit of discoloration, dirt, grime and stuff. For a truck that's six years old, you're going to have a little bit of that for sure. Uh, good tires on the rear. Gonna go up top and show you some of the height issues. I'm sending you an email that'll have dimensions on this. I'm gonna go from memory on this video, but what I send in the email will be accurate. Uh, nothing over the top of the cab, so I measured, measured it to the top. I think that one's gonna make your height restriction. We have to do something with the deck gun, which clearly sticks up too tall for you guys. Uh, these handles add a couple of inches and they would have to come off uh, to get it a little bit lower and then you've got these coffin compartment tops and I'm not even sure why they did this they're raised up diamond plate here that if we took them off all that's in there is hard suction that you can access from the rear so if we could cut those compartment tops off all the way around this is just a square little skinny container nothing really in it um, and we'd also have to remove these steel uh, boxes that are holding the grab handle on the back. If we do all of that, I think there's a shot of getting it down into a height range that'll work for you. But I will send you the specifics of that in the email.
I just finished measuring all of it. Uh, had something mounted to the rear bumper, so there's a little bit of dirt there. Uh, opened up the compartments, give you a look at them. They show a little wear. Again, it's a five-year-old truck, so it's not new, but uh, at least for our business, pretty, pretty new, pretty nice. Uh, high-end Pierce engine. One more look in the rear cab. There's your two forward-facing seats. Rear-facing seats in the corner, pretty standard. I'll try to give you a quick look underneath. A little bit of surface rust, but uh, overall very clean. LED lighting, brow lights. I think you've probably seen the pictures and the specs. And that's it. Hope that video is helpful to you guys. Uh, I'll get it coming out with the uh, measurements in an email in a couple of minutes. And you just let me know what else I can do to help you guys with it. Thank you for the opportunity.